Hello everyone, my name is Raphia Walter and in this uh, short demo I'll show you how to create very easily a mobile uh, application using the SAPCloud platform mobile services. So as you can see right now, I'm on a S4 system and uh, I'm inside of the GUI and uh, I'm going to launch uh, the transaction uh, SCPM uh, PD. And then uh, I'm just going to go and uh, select maybe one of my products HD 1000 okay and I'm gonna display the information about this product okay so I have the product name supplier ID the price the weight etc so specific information so let's say I want to create very quickly an application uh, for my a mobile uh, for people to be able to get this information. So I'm using the trial account of the SAPCloud platform. As you can see, I just created a, a, a trial. And what you need to do is you need to create a mobile services. Uh, okay, so you just create an instance here. And once this is created, you can actually uh, access uh, your, uh, you can access these services, okay? Now I can select my trial account on my space and I can open my bar service. Okay. So now we're going to create a new native hybrid application. So I'm going to create and I'm just going to paste S4 uh, mobile demo. I'm going to paste this, that. I'm going to use the default instance. Uh, I'm going to leave this. Uh, so I want the offline access, the push notification. And I'm just going to finish. It's just going to take a little bit of time. OK, so now it's finished. So now I'm just going to go into mobile connectivity to create a, a Cloud Foundry service. So the URL will be URL of, I won't show you how I created that, but basically this is the URL. If you went into uh, that, this is what we're getting. We're just getting all the different uh, uh, methods that are available, and you'll see the product, the business partner. Okay, so I'm going to keep this. Uh, nothing to be changed here. Uh, nothing here. Nothing there. I'm just going to add some kind of uh, authentication. And I need to put in my password. Next. And finish. OK, so now I have uh, this. I'm going to test, see if Ping is successful. So now I'm going to go and I have my mobile service available and up and running. OK, so now we've created uh, this uh, OData source. Uh, as a mobile services, as for mobile demo. So now if we go back into the cockpit, we have the, uh, we're going to be using the SAP Business Application Studio to create our application. And uh, you can't see it here, but at the bottom, you have to double click and set the, the target of your business application studio. And I, have of course, uh, targeted my uh, trial. So now I'm going to create a project from a template. Uh, we had uh, iOS uh, SDK in the beginning uh, with partnership with Apple. Then we created Android SDK. And then we thought that uh, you had to create your applications and then maintain code either for iOS or Android. Then we came up with, uh, SAP came up with the mobile development kit. So we're going to go for the MDK project. And uh, here I'm going to be using a template to create very quickly. So I'm going to use the, the MDK uh, list detail I could use for those kind of templates. And I'm going to go with uh, list demo uh, v2. I think I already created one here. 
and the service name which is going to be list demo v2 and i'm going to select the mobile service that we just created in the last step which is s4 mobile demo the destination that's going to be s4 mobile demo and that's it we enable the offline mode and uh, this is the business partner i wanted to look at the product side i could leave the business partner just to show you okay so it's generating i want to open in a new workspace and as you can see it's creating all the different uh, code and pages that we need to create our application so now if i go into the pages i'll see i have my main i have my main page the layout of the main page i could change it i could add different controls here I'm also going to have the product set list, product details. So when we're going to click, it's going to trigger uh, those events here. And if I open the uh, set product li list page, here we have the application.app, it's the actual code. So here we'll see the product and in the detail, we'll see the, the layout of the, of the page. And we could of course use all those controls. And this is what we're going to see so uh, once this is done we can actually uh, deploy this application so i'm right clicking on the application.app and i'm deploying uh, this application so i'm going to deploy it as a mobile service so it's deploying okay and now i'm going to get a qr code so what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my Air server on my machine so that you can see my actual phone. And I'll show you the app. Okay. So now we see the application that we just created. And now we can go into the product set and I looked at HT-1000. So I see the notebook with all the information. Remember from the system, we go back into, you see that we have same values here. Okay about this so in a few clicks we were able to create this application very quickly we could log out and have uh, offline access to the information i hope this was useful for you and uh, well talk to you soon see you soon bye bye cheers thank you very much